Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And today, part two of the Foxwell 624 Elite. This is the NT624 Elite. I'm going to be showing you all how to do the update, the software update on it. Now you're going to go, like based on the, the, uh, the paperwork that comes with this thing, you'll want to go to the Foxwell site here for the United States, register yourself an account, and you're going to want to download the Foxwell software that goes on your computer here. This is my shop computer, and uh, I've got screen capture set up, so what I'm going to do is Pause this camera, go online here, and I'll show you how to do the update for this. So as we see, I've got a lot of automotive software loaded on here. Vita, for, uh, Volvos, the OTC Genesis tool, Toyota's Techstream. Uh, there's right there, E-Tax for Mitsubishi products, and on and on and on. But what we're interested in today here is Fox Assist. That is for Foxwell's software. We'll go ahead and uh, you'll enter in your in information here. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And here we go. Now this is where it's, you know, it's not seeing anything right now, but we have to first, we're going to have to go ahead and you can't see me doing it, but I'm going to plug in my uh, scan tool here. Right on. Okay. So we're going to look at download and current version, right? We want to look at that. So we're going to activate our software and we got to punch in our serial number here. Okay. So once we've activated that serial number, we've got that in there. All right, once you have registered your scan tool, you can go ahead and unplug the USB cable for right now, and we're going to put that down. And what we've got to have to do next is actually update the small micro SD card that's on there. That's the memory, and it's a 16 gig memory card. This comes with the program, the, the, uh, the packaging that you got for this. You open that up, what you have there is a micro SD card reader built into a USB dongle. So on the bottom of your Foxwell, you'll see there is a little micro SD card. If I push it in, you'll hear a little click and that will allow that card to slide out. We can remove that and we'll just slide that into our reader like so and we're ready to install that in the computer up here. And plug that back in. It should recognize that device. And it is, it's recognizing that. It's going to read that information and then check it against the, and as you can see, this is a, a 16 gig micro SD card. It's got about eight gig worth of data on it. And I'll go through some of the other software uh, stuff here. So here we go. So we have current version, upgradable version. So it looks like we've got updates. Look at all these updates. In fact, there's quite a few uh, rolling all the way through. So we want to, I want to update all this stuff. I don't know about you, uh, Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, which I have a Mitsubishi. So uh, upgradable version, current version. So as you can see, there's there's fixes for some of these. And we'll move down, and here we go. And as you can see, the ones that are not highlighted, those means that those are already up to date. So cool. So we'll go ahead and hit the update button, and it'll take some time to do this, but it's going to do the download. And as you can see, it's all is happening quite well. I'm very impressed with you know this this product so far. This is very professional grade scan tool levels where it knows particular automobiles. So one of the big differences between scanners and scan tools and code readers is the code readers going in the generic side. Again, this this appears to be able to read specific car makes and models, and that's going to be a real treat to uh, have that capability. That's what the OTC Genesis has that I've been using for all these years. The difference is the, uh, the Genesis, you know, the last update for it was 2015, and here we are in 2020. So now five years gone by. I'm starting to see those cars coming out of warranty that are uh, that are newer than 2015. So I needed to get something. This is a mid-level scanner, and I'm really uh, looking forward to trying it out and seeing what the future brings. You know, I bought a, a, a like a handheld, like a, a replacement for my Innova scan tool, and uh, just for like drive cycles and things like that. And I've been blown away by that. So this ought to be. I'm hoping this is going to be equally as, as cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera. We'll let this thing finish updating, and then we'll come back. Cool. So I'm not going to worry about those. Those are, uh, there's no day woo. Well, there are day woos, but there hasn't been a day woo in the U.S. since, I think, 2001. So I'm not too worried about that. Oakland, Vauxhall, foreign markets, no worries. Fox Assist, there's a lot of other stuff that's already been updated. Everything else, covered. All right, so we've activated our scan tool. We've downloaded the latest updates. Let's check out some of these other components before we go back to the actual scan tool. Complaints, and this is really cool. Click on that. What we have here with complaints is just what it sounds like. If you find a 
part, a, you know, let's say you're, let's say you want to read uh, the uh, ECT PID on a 2014 GMC uh, Sonoma. Uh, I don't think they make the Sonoma anymore, but whatever. And it doesn't work. It comes up with an error code. Well, here you go. You've got your scanner. You can select your scanner model, NT624 Elite. You can give my serial number there. I can get my version of the software that it was, the brand, the model, the make, the submodel, the VIN, all this stuff. And then I get my description. Hey, this didn't work. And select file. Yeah, I can show you that here in a second right here. And that is under data manager. So that's really cool. So if you find an issue, and look, no scan tool is perfect when it comes to all the stuff. A lot of times they'll get an update that'll fix a bunch of problems, but it might break something else. And there's just no way to keep up with it. So by doing this, having this as the Fox Assist, they're allowing you to be the, uh, you know, well, they can't find it all, but at least they're able to identify it clearly and then it gets fixed in the next update. So that's really cool. Then back down here to what I was talking about with this uh, file update, data manager, right? So this scan tool does have the ability to record data. So you can go on a drive and record all the live streaming. And then when you come back, you can review that. And so here's a way I can transfer those files over. I don't have any right now, unfortunately, but I could take that file. If I had files that I had gotten and I had a clearly like misread PID or something like that, I drop it into that complaint file and, and send it off. And that gives those uh, guys that are guys and gals that are programming this thing, even more information. So lastly, I go back over to settings and it's just asking me, do I have, you know, American English or British English or, you know, any one of them, a bunch of languages. And then of course you can add in, I haven't filled this out yet, but do have user information, name your company and all that stuff. So if they need to contact you, that's kind of helpful as well. That's it for the software. Let me go ahead and stop this program and we'll go back to the video of me and I'll show you how to reinsert that card. We'll go in part three, back out to the car and check out some of those upgrades. Okay, while it's actually saving the file that we just made here online, here's my little SD mini card reader here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that little teeny mini chip back out of there. That's not an easy task. Slide that back into its slot. And there it is, it's locked in. You, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a little click when it locks into place. So now we're ready to go back out to a car. That'll be part three. But the scan tool should be updated. Now, if you've seen part one, you know we went through a lot of the features and functions. Part three will just be kind of going a little more in depth with the tool, taking a look at some of the other features and functions, and maybe more live reading, stuff like that. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. This is on updating your old Foxwell NT624 Elite. It also works for the 644, I'm sure, and many other models for Foxwell programming. And that's it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, well, perhaps you'll think about liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Take care. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Farpoint Farms.